wasn't easy growing up. I wanted to be the next Michael Jordan. Years ago, Harold Minor name was ringing bells from state to state, man. You know what I mean? No internet, man. Word of mouth, ESPN, Sports Illustrated uh, write-ups, newspaper clips. Yeah, the kid's name was ringing bells from state to state. He was breaking all kind of records at USC. He was talented as Baby Jordan. Harold Minor, he was a high school standout. He earned the name Baby Jordan thanks to his remarkable dunking skills. His fame soared even higher in the NBA when he won that 1993 dunk contest in his rookie season. That secured him a Nike deal. You don't believe? Let me show you the Nike commercial. So I became the first Harold Miner. And as you can see, that's not too easy either. He had the body frame, the ball handling skills, the athleticism, but he had no real basketball game, man. Only thing he could do was get to the rim and dunk. Like I said, man, he was touted as the next heir apparent. He was 6'5", 210 pounds, but he failed to live up to expectations, man. He wore the number 23 jersey. He had the shaved ball head. He had the, the MJ mannerism and all that, man. The electrifying slams echoed worldwide, man. That's how people knew a baby Jordan, man. He hailed from Englewood, you know. He was out there styling. He was selected at the 12th overall pick in the 1992 draft. Minor was poised to become a scoring machine, man. A marketing sensation, man. He inked a lucrative deal with the Heat for five years, $7.3 million. And then he had his Nike endorsement which was worth $14 million, man. His Nike shoes weren't bad either, man. As you can see, out the gate, Miner got to that bag for his electrifying dunks, man. Nike was wide open, man. They gave him some sneakers real quick because the kid was flying, but he didn't have them basketball skills, man. He was supposed to be the next baby Jordan, the next heir apparent, he failed. Jerry Stackhouse was supposed to be the next one he failed, and Grant Hill and Penny failed due to injury, man. Despite winning two slam dunk contests and securing that Nike deal, man, Harold Miner's career ended at the age of 25, man. Injuries killed him more than anything. And when he suffered that last injury in Toronto, they cut him at age 25, and we haven't heard from Harold Miner since. They said he's doing well. They said he made the right investments with his money. But I tip my cap to Harold Miner for the electrifying dunks around 30 years ago. And he was the first one. I heard them call the next Michael Jordan. But he failed badly because he didn't have them basketball skills.